joining us on the set. Good morning. Good morning. Kelly. How are you? Thanks ya? for having me. I am great. Good. Well, I was just talking earlier in the show about driving by Shawnee Peak last night. And actually, you guys were still open. It was 930 at night. Mm -hmm. Lights were on. It was just gorgeous. And I was with my friend Julie, and I was just saying, you know, this is why people come to this area, is mountains like Shawnee Peak, mm -hmm. gorgeous views, and you're open the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you... It's 8.30 all the way till 10 p.m. Tonight, Friday, and Saturday are our big days. So 8.30 through to 10. Because this is a vacation week, we're, we're going to be running late. We don't do uh, Sunday nights apart from vacation weekends, so it'll be open till 9 o'clock on Sunday and then 9 o'clock again on Monday. I was just going to say, because you're not slacking the Sunday night sandwich no. because Monday you kick it off with the Monday madness yep. and just getting crazy over there again. So you yes. guys kind of never slow down. And I also want to send kudos to you and Shawnee Peak, though. Uh, I was having a conversation with some locals last night they say you guys do such great work with the schools well thank you around Shawnee Peak yeah. and I you guys welcome the schools in lots of kids are learning to ski and ride at Shawnee Peak they do they come by the bus load um, we were just talking in the break and uh, we, we have uh, you know sometimes nine buses that will arrive all at <laughs> once great. from kids you know yeah. they come from York Maine they come yeah. from all over the show and it's a really great opportunity to have the local kids coming skiing in groups you know and parents don't always have to be with them th so that they they get exposed to skiing and it, you know we make it affordable for them so that's one we love it because then they eventually end up coming back and seeing us too so it's a win-win yeah, you get lifers now how would you describe the terrain at Shawnee Peak the terrain well it's classic New England um, it is um, we have sort of a well it's a split it's like a 25 beginner sort of 50 intermediate 25 advanced okay. so there's a little bit of something good for chunk, everybody though. yep absolutely so um, great learning terrain it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's over by itself so you're not getting people that have come down from yeah, the higher lifts and through. zinging through so that's really nice um, and then but we have a little bit of everything through to mm. the moguls the bumps the trees great um, and the train is in great shape right now we have it so looked much gorgeous snow. last night and last night of course it was cold there were still people out there oh there there are people out there and wear layers go. and be prepared to come in and get some hot cocoa when you get cold. <laughs> I love that. And yeah. you guys have a lot of events going on. Uh, so let's start with movie night. It's going to be night. big tonight. It is. It's the big movie tonight. <laughs> it's, it's frozen. <laughs> so uh, we are doing movie night from 5.30 to 7.30 tonight. And this is a drop-off. This is a drop-off. You have never <laughs> seen parents drop off their kids so early. Like pushing them. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually there at the beginning of movie night. And, you know, it starts at 5.30. And you'll see people rolling in at like quarter past five I'm like well you're early <laughs> yeah. how very organized of you but they're like Psh, get out of here right. so drop off is 5 30 uh, what we'll do is on we, the dot on the dot on the dot no later um, drop off is 5 30 we'll seat everyone down everyone gets you know pizza and some water and and we'll start the movie everyone gets popcorn and then uh, it's you know an hour and a half of well it's the it's whole thing is two hours yeah, pick up the is movie at is hour and a half, so pick up is at 7 30 wow. and the great thing tonight is um for all of our parents that are dropping and needing entertainment, uh, we have Bruce Marshall playing over at Blizzard's Pub. Oh, so fun. It's, um, That's it's a perfect combination. So you, you get the, and the deal, $10 for deal. Yes. the movie, for the popcorn, for drinks, and pizza for dinner. Yes, I mean, 5.30, you drop off the kids. They're you having can't a great get time a for two hours. For no, and they're fed. They're fed dinner. And they're festive, too, over yeah. there. Yes, a very. <laughs> no, it's, it's no, it's a really great deal, and it's really, really popular. The only problem with movie night is you have to be in really early to get a spot. You I need think to reserve. You do need to reserve. You can't do a drop-in because obviously we have to have the right amount of staff for the kids. Um, and then, but uh, we do have a few spots left. Okay. I imagine that those will go pretty quickly. So if it's What's something. The age? It's, well, you have to be able to sit through a movie. So okay. we generally say four is a good idea. Okay. Through to about, you How's know, 44? Can I get in on well, that? You can absolutely. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, well, like no. $10, you can't even get an odd date for I $10. Know, I know, I know. My goodness. So no, about four to 10. And okay. at, at 10, you know, the kids are kind yeah. of getting too old and it's not right. cool anymore. Yeah, they want to be on the slopes yeah. anyway. Yes, you know, absolutely. Doing their social thing. Okay, so for the kids, they have movie night frozen. Call ahead. You need to reserve a spot for mm -hmm. your kids. It's super popular. For the adults, you can head on over. Bruce Marshall is going to be in Blizzard's Pub, 430 to 730. And then also, you started up a new yoga series. We did. We did. Which I, you did this morning. I did this morning. I had to bust out early, but I was there. Uh, we start yoga at 730 in the morning in the great room. It's We're going to do six weeks of the class. Mm. We're down two weeks already but it's really um, it's yoga for all levels so you don't have to 
know anything right. really about yoga. My significant other came along today and he's yeah. never done anything before. And it's a lot of stretching and just, um, you know, getting your body ready and warm for skiing. So by the time we turn off the class, at, well, we don't turn the class off, but we stop the class at 8.15, right. then we just set the room back up for the general mm. public and um, off you go onto the first chair of the day at 8.30. So okay. it's a really nice stretching class. Wonderful. The room so what do you wear? Do you wear like normal yoga stuff or do you have to wear socks or what? You can wear whatever you want. Um, I was I was wearing my leggings and a and a and a top like is it today. Pretty warm in there? It's and, nice okay. and warm. Okay, yeah, great. no, uh, by the end you're all you're right. taking your layers off and, okay. and getting warm, but it's not hot or anything. And now that you're two weeks in, can people still get in or it's do they need to class. wait? It's a drop-in class. No, great. it's a drop-in class and right now we're we're getting pretty full in the room. Mm. It's the great room, so you're looking out at the mountains. It's so actually really come, nice. So first come, serve or do yep, they need to a, call? No, they don't need to call. Okay. Right now they don't need to call and if we hit that problem, it will be a good problem to have, but we're at a really nice sort of we can still squeeze some, some more space, so you're not we elbowing your <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, because yeah, there's some yoga poses that you don't want to be yes. so close. The cost per class is eight dollars, and you have an employee rate, of course, uh, yep. for those that are lucky enough to work at Shawnee Peak. Mm -hmm. um, also going on, big air bag, yeah, tubing, extreme tubing, really. And you've done this. I have done this. I was one of the guinea pigs when we were sitting <laughs> up tubing. I was the token female. Oh my God, Rachel, come on, let's down. do this. Um, so <laughs> you just fling the small woman off, and <laughs> there absolutely. You go. Into the sky, go fly, Rachel. But um, we we uh, should I explain what it is? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so a big ear bag is a giant cushion um, that you fill with air. It's actually used for um, freestyle tricks. Mm. So you go off a kicker and you land in this big it's like ear a bag. Heavy canvas or what's? The it's almost like a plastic. Okay. Um, the outer shell is like a plastic. Okay. Um, so you're using it like a, a diver uses a bubbler. So you're taking the impact out of if you don't land correctly. Well, we decided it would be a great idea to go <laughs> tubing into this thing late night. Um, and so we have a groomer groom out a trail. And you sit in your tube. Obviously, one of our staff members helps you into the tube. You sit in the tube at the top of the trail. Off you go, down your trail, off the eight-foot kicker. And this kicker. 25 eight feet into 25 the air. 25 feet. Roughly. Wow. Yes. So it's, um, it's extreme tubing. You need to sign a waiver and have a helmet, and you do need to sign a liability. Oh, you know, I said that. You need your parent to sign your liability sure. waiver if you're under the age of 18. Okay, and is, there must be age requirements that I can probably find on the website. It's a height requirement. A height requirement. I believe it's okay. 42 inches. Okay, great. Yeah. And mm -hmm. do they wear ski boots, or what do you wear? Uh, you can wear ski boots. Okay. Um, the only thing that you really can't wear, um, and it's not applicable to tubing, it's uh, racing skis because the edges are so sharp, they're inclined you to cut the back. You wear ski? You can. You can. Really? Well, that's like if, you, that, if you're doing the freestyle area. Is this like tricks. running with scissors? What? <laughs> you wear, do you, it's crazy. <laughs> so you're in your tube, but you have your ski? No. No, it's two it. different. Think oh, about it as like, two different applications. What's going on here? No, so okay. you can, we tube into it okay. because we're crazy okay. folk, but yeah. during the days ah, sometimes, well, also this is when you use it for a yeah. freestyle train. Okay. So you would groom out the little path that you have for the tubing, and off you go on your skis. Okay, wonderful. Yes. Well, more information is at Shawnee Peak, and that's just shawneepeak.com. You can also find the latest conditions and any updates on events uh, right there on the page. And you have a lot of pictures on there. We do. As well as yes. skiers and riders having fun. Yes. So do we cover everything? We got movie, yoga, we have Bruce Marshall. Conditions are fantastic, Fant a beautiful mountain, mm -hmm. doing great things for the community as well. Yes. I think, we I think we're good. Just <laughs> right. go to the website if you need more info. Okay, Rachel, Absolutely. thank you so much. Always Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having me here. All right, folks, we'll be back with more here on the show. We have another look at the weather forecast. We have snow in the forecast. Great news. And we'll do another watch and win as well.